Computex 2017, uh, you're showing some latest Octian TX solutions, right? Yes, um, so from KVM uh, at Computex here, we are showing uh, with our ARM 64-bit based Octian TX multi-core processor family. Uh, we are showing a variety of different applications uh, for networking, IoT, and uh, control plane applications. So uh, compared to the Thunder X2, uh, Thunder X2 is more like servers, and Octian is more like microservers uh, and also baseband's. And what is it? Where does it go? So Cavium has a scalable product line. Uh, our Thunder X and Thunder X2 product lines are targeting mainstream servers, and um, you know basically uh, Thunder X, for example, has uh, 48 CPU cores and it has dual socket coherent support uh, for mainstream servers. Using the IP, we have also designed uh, multi-core SOCs. Um, you know, based on the same 64-bit ARM core, same DDR4 interface, um, PCIe, et cetera. And we have designed a family of um, multi-core processors uh, from anywhere from 40, 24 core all the way down to like, you know, 16, 12, 8, 4, 2 cores. Um, so whole so range for mm -hmm. different use case. For different use case, you know, with different performance, power, consumption, and price points. Uh, and it's using it, your yeah. proprietary architecture. It is using standard ARM architecture, uh, but our uh, optimized implementation of CPU core, so we can get more performance at a smaller area and smaller power. So your core design. Yeah, so our core design. Yeah. But, uh, mm -hmm. So, so it's not using ARM Cortex A53. That's something. correct. It's yeah. Using, what right. Is it? well, how do you define it? So, uh, well, basically, we license the instruction set architecture. So we have, um, you know, the ARM instruction set uh, document. We have a test of uh, compatibility validation suite. So we make sure that our cores are designed to be compatible. And in the same time, it is much more optimized, especially for a lot of the networking applications where you want very high performance at very low power. Uh, and we have a very scalable product line, you know, from anywhere from two cores, very, very low power, to uh, 24 cores in a still very small package, as you can see. How many cores um, is this one? This one has 24 cores. 24 cores. Uh, is, the, is the design of your core uh, on the Octian uh, in the family related with the Thunder X designs? Yeah, I mean, they share a lot of the same IPs, uh, especially from a CPU core perspective. All right, so mm -hmm. what are we looking at here, this demo? So, uh, what is this board right here? Yeah, this first demo is running a DBDK uh, IPsec application. Um, so you can see, um, you know, 40 gig uh, performance uh, on our uh, 24 core uh, part uh, running st uh, standard uh, DBDK, uh, which is from open source dbdk.org uh, and an IPsec application. Uh, DBDK is, uh, it means, what is it for? DBDK stands for Data Plane Developers Kit. Uh, it's an open source project uh, where you know multiple uh, vendors from the industry um, work together under Linux Foundation uh, for uh, optimized um, data plane API kit you know, for data plane applications. And uh, and this is the board you're holding right here. It's right in, in there. What is it doing? Yeah, this board in particular uh, is a card which can be plugged into a. Um, a standard um, data center switch. You know, for example, uh, this this chassis here represent um, a white box uh, data center switch. Uh, could be a top of rack switch, uh, could be a spine switch. Uh, in in this case, basically, it has really two major pieces of uh, silicon inside. One is the switch itself, which is also based on Cavium uh, X Pliant uh, SDN programmable switch. Uh, this one has 3.2 terabit of switching capacity. Uh, it's programmable pipeline. And is it like an FPGA, or how does it work, this it is, one? Well, it is not FPGA. It is a um, custom design silicon, so it can get to the very high performance, 3.2 terabit switching with a lot of programmability. Uh, in the same time, um, you know, it, it is single chip. Uh, and the other piece of uh, major silicon in this board is the control processor, which is the same uh, Octane TX family. Uh, this one has... Um, it's a smaller one. A little bit smaller one. Yeah. You know, as so I this said. This one's 24. This one yeah. could be. This one has up to four cores, um, and um, so you can see the package is much smaller um, and much lower power, uh, much lower cost. So basically, we have a scalable product family. Are you showing on the yeah. screen something of what's going on? Yeah. So the screen here is uh, is yet another demo where we are running uh, on our <coughs> um, processor uh, in our server processor Thunderix. It's 48 core ARM based. 
uh, running standard um, Linux, KVM, uh, and also a commercial VNF uh, from Trend Micro. Uh, it's a security application. Uh, it is an NFV demo. And, uh, and this is open... Open WRT, so basically uh, this is uh, kind of a home router um, uh, application. Uh, open WRT is open source. Uh, we are doing SSL based uh, VPN in this demo. This one is running on this board over here? Yes, uh, and that is the Altheon TX family. Um, so, you know, it has the um, um, uh, 64 bit uh, core that we designed. Uh, it has also high integration of uh, DDR4 interface, um, 10 gig port interface. Um, and uh, DDR4. Yeah. Nice. Yep. And what's going on over here? So here, the same Octeon TX product, uh, we also have implemented uh, IoT Gateway. So in this demo here, uh, we have an IoT Gateway yeah. where the camera is collecting information and uh, through analysis of the video, you, it, this application can zoom into a yellow uh, kind of uh, background and objects. Um, so it is doing... Um, collecting of the data from the camera uh, or some other IoT devices. It's doing local analysis and figuring out the spot with the yellow. Uh, it can be connected uh, you know, back to the network infrastructure. So the Octane TX uh, solution has been shipping for a while? Yes, uh, so the Octane TX solution is in production. Uh, it has been shipping and as you see, you know, it's going into a lot of different networking, IoT, uh, wired and wireless applications. But is it new or is this, this, this been already in mass production deployed uh, a lot? It's been yeah. in production, f uh, you know, we have multiple families. Um, so, you know, some families are, are in production recently, some are in about one year ago. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. so this is, uh, this is ultimate 64 bit for, uh, for what's called the, 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 the cloud, kind of like the, the cloud. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, right? So, so the, the cloud has more than, uh, you know, just servers and, um, you know, uh, data center type uh, equipment. Uh, there are other kinds of equipment. I think the, um, the IoT is an interesting example where you can do local analysis. Uh, you can connect to local uh, data collecting agents. Uh, so, you know, you basically need more intelligent edge, uh, and that's where Cavium has a very scalable product line. So we Something like this, right? The uh, baseband kind of devices, that's yeah. where it could go. So this is a, uh, this is a base station, uh, so absolutely our Octane TX product uh, also has been designed into base stations. All right, yeah. cool. so, and switches. Yeah, as a control processor for switches. For these yeah. kinds of market yeah for here you actually see a lot of uh, other uh, ODM designs and applications uh, you know from our partners um, so for example there's a VPN gateway um, and uh, it's similar to the SSL VPN running there but this is you know a complete uh, gateway product um, and there's a VPN router so any different ODM uh, products um, you know for networking and security applications and, then and this one is a uh, industry uh, rugged design as well for IOT and VPN router and down here we're seeing a Especially board yeah we have a couple of reference designs um, you know for like this one is for example uh, IOT gateway yeah. and video bridge mm -hmm. So there's the Octeon TX right there. Yeah, so basically all these um, uh, Octeon families, um, uh, you know, so they, they are in many different applications. And are they mm. built into these? No, this is a different product family. So we are showcasing two different product families here, the Octeon family and then the Octeon Fusion M family, which is, uh, the Octeon Fusion M family is uh, um, more Mips. targeting wireless uh, applications. Yeah, it's got a mix of MIPS and ARM, so that's mm -hmm. what uh, Cavium has. Uh, we have been uh, shipping SOC products with both uh, MIPS architecture and ARM architecture.